So um, about six weeks after they've lambing, you start boxing them up. And what sort of mob sizes are you looking for for those, Tyler? Um, yep, so that's uh, definitely it's uh, determined by our paddock sizes. So um, with the hill blocks, um, as we get higher and higher, the blocks get a lot bigger. Um, so we're looking at uh, there might be smaller mobs of maybe you know 150 ewes with the lambs um, on these smaller paddocks down the bottom and and up to um, 300 um, 300 ewes with the lambs up in these bigger blocks. So when you say a bigger block, how big is a block up um, there? So our bigger blocks are about 30 hectares, 25 okay. to 30 hectares. So they're taking 300 odd ewes yep. with their lambs through there. Yep. Okay, and then so you start that rotational grazing. Yep. And, and we'll be setting apart, uh, uh, setting aside, um, obviously all determined on um, mob size, but um, it may be um, three to four paddocks, um, and we'll be um, uh, moving them around uh, once they uh, graze the lucerne, uh, all the leaves pretty much off, except uh, uh, there'll be a few left. So I'll just grab a stem. Yep. So you, what are you looking for? Yep. So um, they're grazing it down. Um, to probably, oh yeah, probably about that. Yep, and they'll nibble the top off like that. So you you don't want them to fully graze it, and you're also looking at the um, the uh, the um, crown of the plant, making sure they're not damaging that new growth coming along. Okay, yep. so how long might they spend in a paddock? Um, you're probably looking at uh, yeah, five to um, eight days maybe. Yep. Okay, in an individual paddock, and yep. then they get moved on as, and, and that moving process, a lot of people will be concerned about shifting a mob of 300 hoggets with their lambs, yep. mismothering, all those sorts of things. Yep, so we um, we would probably go, we usually go through and we'll open the gates up maybe the day prior, um, if not earlier, and, and you just kind of let them drift out quietly. You know, you kind of, by the second or third shift, you, you kind of, you already you rock up the half a day after that, and they're already through to the next block. They know they what they're doing. The bit. Yep, and the okay. lambs also, you know, by then they're starting to get old enough as well. Um, and the one thing that I've definitely learnt as well is um, visually with grazing it is, um, you know, like you think of pasture on the flats, and you want to be tidying it up and getting that really good quality coming through. But um, with the lucerne, you know, you, it's um, it can look quite untidy. You know, you're leaving those stalks and stuff behind, but you know that that um, dies off and breaks out, and you get your new shoots coming from underneath. So, right. Yep. Yeah. Some people might have another class of stock come in and clean them up. Yep. Do you do that, or do you just concentrate on the hoggets? Uh, just because we've got it um, quite heavily stocked, we we, we just have the hoggets um, on there um, in the um, in the autumn. Once we're um, done with our fin lamb finishing, and we do we get cattle in. And we'll give it a, a bit, of, bit of a tidy up then with the cattle. Yep. Yeah, great. Okay.